Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is a good one. In today's video, I'm going to be trying the new GHD curling wands. This is the small curve thin wand for tight curls. It's a half an inch wand, so you are gonna get very tight curls. I actually purchased this myself, and this cost me $200. So it is a little bit pricey. It is GHD. GHD is like super, you know, high-end, high quality, you know, so it's very pricey. But this is what the hair tool looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a very thin wand, and I'm gonna try it on my very sleek, straight hair today. I wanted my hair to be very, very straight, for this video because I want to be able to notice a like drastic before and after. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Help me get to 100k subscribers. We're almost there. And thank you so much for your support. I love you guys so much. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot of mini videos on there that I do not post on here on YouTube. So definitely check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm going to be posting a lot of content now that I'm going to Florida. So definitely check out my social media right here and yeah let's get right into the video so i'm gonna open this up this retails for 200 dollars. i don't know if i mentioned that already but it is pricey it is very pricey for a wand but ghd does not disappoint i mean i love ghd hair tools i guess the only one that i wasn't too crazy about was the ghd rise but the other ones that i have tried have been amazing so yeah i love ghd hair tools with ghd they only have one heat setting and i believe it's 365 degrees fahrenheit which is like maybe the best one especially for me it is probably the best heat setting but if you do have pretty thin hair then you might not like that about ghd because i mean sometimes i don't use my ghd platinum plus because I like to put the heat setting up a little bit over 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes I do like to use my hair tools at like 400 degrees Fahrenheit just because my hair is very thick and curly. And if I use it in a lower heat setting, I do have to do like a couple of passes. It takes me a little bit longer to straighten. And even though um, that heat setting is probably way better for my hair, I still want to put the heat setting up. I guess that's something that I kind of like and don't like at the same time about GHD hair tools that you're kind of able to control control the heat that you put on your hair but at the same time if you want to go up a little bit or even go down a little bit you can't do that so yeah i'm gonna turn this on it's warming up it's probably gonna warm up in about 10 seconds because ghd hair tools warm up so quickly um i'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds but as you can see the light is just kind of blinking a little bit like slowly blinking <laughs> um so let's see I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds my hair is so straight if you guys are wondering which straightener i used it is all warmed up wow literally in like 10 seconds anyways if you guys are wondering what straightener i use to straighten my hair i used this one from t3 micro this is the single pass x this is a little bit over an inch actually this is an inch and a half plate if you want to check out a video where i test out that hair tool i have a whole review on that hair tool i'm going to link it down below i just posted it maybe like right before this one so yeah definitely check it out i'm going to take a pretty small section this is about an inch section so yeah i'm just gonna wrap my hair around the barrel the iron and let's see what type of curl we can get i wonder if this is gonna give me a pretty tight curl like tight enough for me to use on my natural curls just to kind of define some curls i guess we'll see i'm gonna try it next time on my curly hair okay so I'm just going to leave it on my hair for about 10 seconds. Ugh, my arm's getting tired already. i got to do some arms. Okay. I'm going to release the curl. <gasps> wow. That's a cute little curl. Okay. Very tight curl. Wow very nice i love it okay i'm gonna do some more sections 
and then I might loosen up the curls a little bit. I might do that at the end. Or should I do that now? I'll probably do that at the end. So that the curls can last a little bit longer. So pretty. And I feel like this is very gentle on my hair. I don't feel like it's burning my hair. And I also feel like it's leaving my hair pretty shiny. I mean, I did use some amazing products beforehand, but GHD hair tools always leave my hair pretty shiny. I feel like GHD, T3 Micro, Dyson, they have like some of the best hair tools out there, like hands down. <laughs> um, and of course, I do have other favorites from other brands, but yeah, I just love those brands. I know they're a little bit pricey, but totally worth it. Look at that curl. <laughs> so cute. Okay, now that I look at these curls, they might be a little bit big for my natural curls. I do have 3B curls, but still, I'm still going to try it on my natural hair. I actually bought this more to use it on my natural curls. Like if I wanted to kind of define my curls for like a formal event or even just to like go out or something. But I guess we'll see how it works on my natural curls. Yeah, so far I like it. It's giving me a nice tight curl very quickly too. Like I don't need to leave this on my hair for too long. I only leave it on my hair for about 10 seconds. And then I'm good to go. Wow, my hair got super short. I feel like the heat setting is great as well. I don't feel like I need a higher heat setting. Um, I'm definitely getting some curls very quickly at 365. And this hair tool is pretty easy to use. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Like, you don't need to even read instructions, I feel. <laughs> when you get this hair tool because it's just so easy to use. You just literally wrap your hair around the wand, leave it there for a little bit, and then just release the curl. It's taking me quite some time to do all my hair because I do have to take pretty small sections and I'm just creating smaller curls, but the curls are so pretty, super, super pretty. So yeah, I'm very happy with the results so far and I'm excited to kind of break up the curls a little bit just to see how much volume I could get. But yeah, you definitely need patience with this hair tool and a little bit of time in your hands because this does take quite some time <laughs> to do. Like for you to curl all your hair, you definitely need, I would say at least 30 minutes. I mean, for me, it's been at least 30 minutes. So maybe about 45 minutes because I'm taking pretty small sections and I want my curls to look super, super nice. And I definitely am getting some nice tight curls. So I am very happy with the results so far. All right, guys, so I am done curling my hair. As you can see, the curls are very tight, very small, and my hair looks very shiny. It did take me so long to do all my hair. It took me I didn't time it, but it took me about at least 30 to 40 minutes. So now I'm going to loosen up my curls with a comb. And so let's see what my hair looks like. Oh, okay. I'm getting some volume. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely like it a lot more after I loosen up the curls. It looks super natural, very fun. Um, here's a quick before and after. Wow, look at that volume. Wow, I love it. Okay, so now I'm just doing the same on this side. And look at that volume. That is just insane. <laughs> I love it. Wow, I love how my hair turned out. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil, just a little tiny bit for my flyaways and to give even more shine, even though I don't think I need it because of the IGK and also the GHD hair tool. But yeah, 
I love the final look. I mean, it took so long, but I feel like these curls are going to last such a long time and it just looks very fun. I definitely want to try this on my natural curls, so stay tuned if you want to watch that video. Subscribe so that you don't miss that video. And yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this hair tool and on the results. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.